to another vlog. This vlog is a little sad already because tomorrow I leave to fly back to Pennsylvania. If you guys didn't know, I attend Lehigh University in Pennsylvania and I am from the suburbs of Atlanta, so I've been here for a little over a month for winter break. Our first day of classes is the day after you guys are watching this or the day after this goes live on the 24th of January. So the past couple of days, I've just been like packing, running errands. I started this vlog on Wednesday and I also vlogged yesterday. Today is Friday, but I just did not like talk in the vlog. So Wednesday, I washed my hair and I also blew dry it so that I could get my hair braided, which is what I did yesterday. And yesterday, right before I got my hair braided, I went to take a COVID test. Have you done this before? Yes. Okay, thank you. My university is requiring us to have a negative COVID test result before we can go to classes. And our first week is online, so there's that. But today is my last full day at home and I am going to get Korean barbecue with my mom. Korean barbecue is like one of my favorite things to eat. So I'm super, super excited. Little outfit of the day moment. <laughs> I am wearing this adorable sweatsuit. It's from Target. It is by their A New Day collection, and I'm just absolutely obsessed with it. I wanted to get in this off-white color, but the off-white is like sold out everywhere, so I'm just wearing this. It's a pretty cold day here in Atlanta. It's like 36 degrees right now, I believe, so I just wanted to dress warm, and I'm also carrying my favorite Angela Roy bag. I normally carry like small shoulder bags, but I love to travel with this bag and just use it from time to time, so I actually actually switched over pretty much all of my stuff that was in my shoulder bag that I've been carrying lately into this bag since I will be traveling tomorrow and I plan on carrying this bag through the airport. I forgot to mention when I was first showing my outfit, but I'm wearing my Ugg, wait, what are they called? The Ugg Funkettes. I got them for Christmas and I love them so much. They're like a huge platform Ugg. And I'm also wearing some black socks because it's so cold, but I'm so obsessed with these, you guys. Like I'm so tempted to travel in them tomorrow. I just love them so much. Like I find any excuse to wear them. I did ask you guys to ask me some questions, like juicy questions to answer in an upcoming vlog. So I'm gonna be answering those questions in this vlog. Like once I get back home probably and I'm situated and all that, or at least before this vlog is over, you guys asked me some really really great questions and i just feel like i don't do q a's a whole lot so i guess like i'll do a little q a portion of this vlog just to like you know give you guys some content so you guys can get to know me a little bit better if that sounds so crazy to say because i feel like you guys know me but i realize i don't really talk about my personal life all that much so that's what i'm going to be using the q a portion of this vlog for so obsessed with my hair you guys like i love it so so much I am this is only like one day also she did my edges like so pretty like you guys see the little swoops I think that's adorable so love that also I'm wearing my Argento Vivo gold hoops I wear these literally all the time I also got them for Christmas and I really love Argento Vivo like their jewelry I would love to like curate a little Argento Vivo collection but these are like the most fun hoops to wear I'm so excited for Korean barbecue you guys and of course I'm bringing you along with me it's gonna be so so good i love beef bulgogi pork bulgogi i love la galbi i love steamed egg I'm at the nail salon, they're playing music and I don't want to get copyright, but I'm here. I just put all of my luggage into 
the car and we're about to head out to go to the airport i am wearing i'm so sorry i'm out of breath i was just lifting all of my heavy luggage i'm wearing this sherpa jacket that i just got from h&m like five days ago it was originally 50 dollars, you guys but it was marked down for 20 and then i had like three or four h&m um gift cards like five dollar gift cards so i ended up getting it for like a dollar and some change which is crazy i'm wearing my favorite new leggings they are the offline ribs of black leggings and i'm wearing them in a small i'm wearing my muggies aka my mini uggs with some black scrunched up socks and that's the airport fit let's go we're making a pit stop on my way to the airport <laughs> so i can get my eyebrows done one more time before i leave and also get my lip waxed so yeah oh i didn't show you guys my nails last night but i got them like my same sort of like nude color i'll show you so here they are and this is like a really good like pinky nude for me and my skin tone and i looked at the name of the polish this i have gel polish on my nails but they have it in the regular polish too which i got on my toes and this color is called opi's dolce de leche so if you guys are wanting this color that's what it's called but i love it so much and i like it because like when my nails grow out it like kind of matches my actual nails so you can't really tell so it lasts a pretty long time which i love so i got my eyebrows done and i'm very happy with them and i also got my lip wet so my face is a little red right now but i just ran into shake shack to order food because i haven't eaten all day my flight leaves at like 3 15 and it's currently 12 48 i'm about 20 minutes away from the airport so i should be making it in good time um but i went into shake shack to order food and the guy who was taking my order he was like what's your name and i said lexi and i we like we both had masks on right so i said lexi and he was like come again i said lexi i said lexi like five times and he was like oh lucky that's a unique name <laughs> and i didn't feel like correcting him because he couldn't understand me and i could barely understand him the name for my order is lucky and he was like oh is that a nickname like is that your nickname and i was just like yeah <laughs> And it's just like, oh, um, just that's one of those situations where it's just like so much easier to just lie, you know? So, yeah. Thank you. You got the order for Lucky? Uh huh. <laughs> that's so funny. Oh my gosh, he literally put Lucky and on the like, back. Are you lucky? Rub me. Lucky, you lucky? Yeah, give me some Lucky. He said that? Yeah. <laughs> He put Lucky on here. I cannot make this up. There it is, Lucky. Maybe that's saying something about how my year is gonna be, my 2022. Oh, lucky, lucky. Lucky, L U C K Y. I made it to the airport and through security and all of that. I think I forgot to mention that I do have a connecting flight, so. This is my first time not flying directly into ABE, which is the Allentown Airport, which is like 15-ish minutes from Lehigh. Um, so I'm flying to Detroit, which I've never been to Michigan before. So even though like I'm not really going to be able to see anything, my layover is only like 30 minutes. Um, that's like cool. I'll be in Detroit. So <laughs> I'm visiting a new state, I guess. And then from Detroit, I fly into Allentown. So that's the update. I'm just waiting for my flight to board right now. And yeah. I'm honestly just like ready to be back in my apartment. I didn't film my mom and I saying goodbye because it was it was a little hard for both of us. So I decided to just like keep the camera away for that portion. But I miss her already. And I honestly like if I'm not gonna be at home, I just am excited to be in my apartment. So I'm excited to like unpack and get settled and also to like, you know, reorganize my closet with all the new clothes that I got. So yeah. Back to Bethlehem, you guys. Well, Allentown. And my roommate texted me like literally as soon as I landed, and she was like, "Oh, let me know if you need a ride from the airport." And I was like, "Oh my gosh, I just landed!" So she's coming to pick me up, which is great. And I'm gonna be back in my apartment soon. Pennsylvania as you guys can tell I'm in my room here 
and I spent all of last night unpacking and I wanted to vlog it but I was just like ready to get it done and over with and I didn't like want to be worried about where the camera was and getting the right shot so I unpacked completely and it feels so good well I still have like makeup and stuff to unpack and like toiletries and stuff like that but like when it comes to like clothes I like completely reorganized my closet I took some stuff out that I want to sell that I want to give away all that good stuff and I just have that stored in the suitcase that I travel back with um so like I can just deal with that at a later date but today it is Sunday it is January 23rd and I am about to wrap this vlog up but I know that I said earlier that I'm going to do a little Q&A portion in this video and earlier and I want to say a week or so ago on my Instagram Instagram story I told you guys to ask me some juicy questions to answer in a future vlog and you guys did definitely come through with the question the first question is what's the wildest thing you've done while in college so far so I honestly don't get into a lot of trouble I've never been the type of kid to get into a lot of trouble well I'm not a kid anymore I'm an adult but I am kind of an avid rule follower and I do have a pretty strong moral compass um but I will say 2019 yeah like my first semester in college which was like the fall of 2019 um I went on this date with this guy and when I tell you it was just like crazy it wasn't like really wild but like apparently he knew the restaurant owner and he had his own like special menu and i was like being wined and dined not wined because i don't drink but i was like i was like oh my gosh like wow it was crazy of course he was a little bit older than me um and that was like my first time going out with like an older guy and the like the experience was it was phenomenal things didn't end up working out <laughs> but it was really really great do you ever regret going to your current college now um i wouldn't say that i necessarily regret it as when it comes to like my social life here and also academics i really really love this school um but of course there kind of has been some bumps in the road and some adversity that i've had to face that i really should not have to uh, when it comes to things that i'm involved in at the school that i don't talk about on my channel i like don't really want to get into specifics because this is like my happy place my creative outlet all that good stuff and i intentionally separate like that part of my college life from my channel and everything else you guys see on here because it does take a pretty hard toll on me mentally physically and emotionally um and just like the racism that i deal with microaggression things like that that's what makes it the hardest um how's your love life been since the new school year began in person so i will say like i am actively open to like finding a relationship and like building a connection and getting to know someone but when i'm in school it's just like I don't want to say that I'm not necessarily open to it, but I really dial in and focus on school and it's like if someone comes along that's treating me right and that I happen to like and they give me a reason to like them, they show me consistency, chivalry, all that good stuff, then I'm definitely still open to a possibly a relationship if things go well with them but i will say like i put myself first i put my studies as a priority and um i want to say that i didn't really start dating actively dating until like september november towards the end of last semester and i went on like a few different dates with a few different guys and you just can learn so much about yourself when it comes to dating you can learn so much i'm speaking heteronormatively here because i date guys but if that doesn't apply to you, you fill in the blank with whatever you're into um but like guys can just be terrible and i really feel for all of the girlies out there who also are like trying to date and trying to find a companion a romantic companion because guys are freaking crazy you guys like actually um and i don't know i could get on to a whole tangent but i would say like it's been okay um but it definitely like wasn't a priority earlier into this school year and now that i'm going back into classes like if something comes along that's good then great but i like i'm taking 19 credits again this semester so i will not like be 
spending a lot of time actively like seeking people to date if it comes it comes and it happens it happens how long have you been growing your hair so right now i do have braids in which is like my go-to style when i'm at school because it's just so easy but i did do a big chop i've done two big chops in my life so the first one that i did i was in seventh grade and the second one that i did i did a few weeks before i started my freshman year of college here at lehigh so before i flew to pennsylvania to start college i did do a big chop and that was like my favorite haircut i've ever 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 gotten so that was like late july or early early august of 2019 and now it's january of 2022 sorry <laughs> it's january of 2022 so what is that like three years my biggest thing when it comes to my hair is i don't really care much about length i definitely prioritize health over anything also because like i don't like my style of choice isn't to wear my like natural hair down i typically will pull it back or pull it up but health over length any day what made you decide to attend a pwi I love your content by the way. My mom went to an HBCU. I wasn't deterred from going to an HBCU. I think that if I went to an HBCU, I really feel like I would express myself differently than I do now. I definitely think that the school that I chose and the environment that I'm in has shaped me. I specifically from like a social aspect, um, but I did want to go to a school that was a little more prestigious and a little more academically rigorous and that would offer me a lot of opportunities when it comes to internships and like a alumni network and all that stuff and it just so happened that lehigh was a good fit for me i can go into a whole tangent on my college journey and everything like that and all the colleges that i was interested in and how it ended up here but i will say lehigh was just a good fit for what i was looking for in a school the only thing is i did always see myself going to like a really big huge school with a ton of people and lehigh is a smaller school but for some reason it still feels like a really big school to me even though like it is a very tiny school in population especially undergrad population how do you manage stress and motivate yourself how not to compare yourself to others hi nikki i love you so much i think it's just you sort of develop coping mechanisms i am a huge advocate for using mental health resources therapy all of that good stuff i have recently started like breath work and just my own sort of coping mechanisms that really really help me calm me down but i think that my perspective on life has just really shifted um and i was just always so scared of failure not even necessarily scared of letting people down but scared of like not meeting other people's unrealistic expectations of me and i literally am living life with the attitude of like okay if i disappoint this person what's gonna happen like if i fail this class if i do bad on this exam what's gonna happen like i'm not just going to deplete off of this earth and just like combust if that happens and i know that sounds like so like animated and kind of silly but that's something that i like will have to tell myself in my head and out loud whenever i'm getting stressed out it's like if this doesn't go the way that i am working towards it to go then i'm not just like i have no like some grim reaper isn't gonna come out of the sky and just like slice me open and kill me you know what i'm saying so i have that's what i do to kind of like manage stress and what i do to motivate myself is this is gonna sound so like i don't mean this in a cocky or arrogant way but i know because of my work ethic and the type of person i am and the lifestyle that i am accustomed to and that was provided for me growing up um is that like i you know want to maintain that lifestyle for myself and i always want to be able to provide everything that i want for myself and i do have a really great work ethic i'm interested in a lot of things so in my heart in my soul i know that i am going to be successful and success looks completely different for many many different people but i feel like my main motivating factor is like just thinking of building or buying my own house and decorating it and you know having stability financially having stability when it comes to relationships and just thinking like a little bit into the future without stressing myself out of all of the things that i have left in life to accomplish the first place that i'm going to be living in on my own things like that just get me so excited and really motivate me to keep pushing towards those goals so i can provide that lifestyle for myself 
myself. How's the dating scene been for you for the past two years? I don't want to say it's been great, but I will say I don't want to get off onto a tangent. Like I could do like a whole video on some of these questions you guys are asking me. So if there's anything that like I've touched on that you guys would want me to delve a little deeper into and really talk about, let me know when I can like talk about it either in another vlog or do a dedicated video about the topic. It is hard dating as a black woman especially in the environment that I'm in going to a PWI. It's really hard to navigate, especially when you're dating outside of your race, which I don't really necessarily have a racial preference when it comes to dating. Like if I think of like my soulmate or like who I'm gonna end up with, I have no idea in my mind what they're gonna look like. I have no idealized version of what that person's going to look like. But I will say like with the environment that I'm in, um, it's just hard dating as a black woman. A lot of, I've noticed as I've grown up that a good bit of black men can sometimes have a distaste that stems from self-hatred. So then they kind of project that onto black women. And then when you're dating outside of your race, it's really hard to navigate and pinpoint like if you're being fetishized, if you're being masculated. When I talk to my black girlfriends who are also dating um, and like are really trying to find their person, find a good connection, we can really relate to that. But then when I talk to my non-black girlfriends, they can't necessarily relate to that and they don't really have to worry about the things or they don't have to be as cognizant of the sort of undertones and nuances of when they're talking and vetting people out um, for the same reasons that you know black women have to be. When it comes to emotional support and just love and kindness I have so much to pour into another person and the thing that has helped me combat just like falling into something with the wrong person for the wrong reasons if they can't reciprocate that if I don't feel like I'm getting what I'm pouring into it and more it's not benefiting me i definitely want to be in a relationship that benefits me in every single aspect of what it feels to be a human favorite way to wear your beautiful hair thank you so much um like i was saying i love my slick back bun and i also love my like high puff but my slick back bun is probably my favorite hairstyle it's just so easy to do and it looks so put together you can wear it like casually you can wear it to like an event and it, i just love my slick back bun so much what are some icks or red flags you have for boys this is such a good question my biggest advice is like when a guy asks you your red flags do not tell them because then they can just like not all guys are bad at least i hope but i noticed that when it comes to dating men can be intentionally and unintentionally emotionally manipulative especially in the early stages so i am pretty guarded and i like to protect myself protect my peace all that good stuff but if a guy asks you your red flags there's really no reason that he should know them because think about it if you tell a guy like your red flags are xyz and he embodies and does and exudes xyz he can easily just hide that part of him those parts of him just so he can like kind of like trick you into thinking it's a good match there's compatibility there when there's not it's just it's a slippery slope when it comes to that question because it's just like i want whoever i am kind of vetting out and getting to know to show me exactly who they are rather than like manipulating themselves to be what they believe is some idealized version that i want them to be and then it's like they can't keep that up it turns toxic or you end up disappointed and the energy shifts once you guys make things official and like that's just a way a very very easy way to hold yourself accountable one and to also you know not get manipulated um and then what are some icks i have for guys <sighs> at first i was like oh my gosh the ick thing okay i will say if you have like a ton of icks for a person and it's just like it's crazy stuff like it's just like the most trivial thing i my my piece of advice to you is maybe you don't actually like that person if every little thing is an ick you know like maybe it's time to move on maybe you're actually not into that person but i will say just like things that are just like gross to me like when guys follow like porn stars instagram models that are like always half naked i will say like i think that you know your presence on social media whether you're a content creator or not it definitely like embodies and kind of shows a little bit of who you are as a person so i'll say just like following like a bunch of girls another 
ick is like especially if those like you don't know them personally and those girls don't follow you back it's just like babes what are you doing what are you doing um and then also what else was it gonna say if i'm really really into someone and i'm really trying to vet someone out i will go through their instagram following and this is like if i'm like really if i really like them i do not do this with every single person because it's not worth the time unless you're really trying to vet them out i will go through their following and like click on all the pretty girls we love pretty girls okay and i will like look at their pictures you know this helps if they're public so you don't have to follow them and if i notice a trend of the guy like only liking like half naked pictures of them or pictures where the girls are showing off their bodies bikini pics booty pics all that kind of stuff that is so gross to me that is so gross and typically like you can easily notice a pattern when it comes to that and it's just that is such an ick i think that's so gross another ick is like the whole like oh let's link another ick to me is like the whole like talking stage thing and maybe i'm old-fashioned but it's just like talking stage like okay we can send text messages back and forth but like if i'm actively texting somebody like back and forth and that's all that's happening there's absolutely nothing no feelings that are manifesting for me so i am i definitely do believe in astrology i'm a gemini i need like physical emotional and intellectual stimulation to even be interested in the slightest with somebody and for me texting back and forth doesn't do it so like the whole talking stage thing that's a lot of girlies get stuck in the talking stage because it's like you're acting like a girlfriend to some boy who you haven't even seen in eight months you've just been texting and facetiming um so for me it's just like i am dating like dating to me is not an exclusive thing once i'm in a relationship of course that's exclusive but like if i'm getting to know somebody like i'm going out on dates with that person and i like the whole like let's link no like plan dates let's go here let's do this when are you gonna be ready like you know like that whole thing actually having intentions behind like the meetup and the actual time you're spending with that person because it's like i want somebody who's going to intensely pursue me not to just like link about their house and sit on their couch and them trying to manipulate me into getting physical with them when i don't want to that's typically what that turns into like i said i can do a whole video on some of these topics i will say like if i like someone i don't mind texting but it's like you like you need to ask me out on a date or else like i'm actively losing interest because i just don't feel stimulated with just sending texts back and forth like texting is great that's fine but it's like if i'm not seeing you on a semi-regularly basis i'm losing interest and that's just me some girlies love to text like i'm saying i do not mind texting i think texting is sweet like stay in touch is easy form of communication but if that's not coupled with going on dates being asked out on dates being you know pursued being courted then it's a no for me it's a no for me you're done you're done <laughs> the reality of being a youtuber so i will say it's a lot harder than people make it seem i can also do a whole video on this <sighs> it's hard it really is hard it's so time consuming like for me i don't have an editor so i'm editing all my videos on my own of course shooting all the content on, on my own and it can be really discouraging if you don't actually enjoy content creation because it's like you can spend like eight hours editing a video four hours filming that video 12 hours of your time that you're putting into that content and then that video can like absolutely flop and like nobody watches it there's like hardly any comments on it and it it, it hurts a little bit it does so i always say to people who are like oh i'm gonna make a youtube channel i'm gonna make all this money da, da, da. if you don't actually enjoy content creation and that's like your heart isn't in it it's not an interest of yours you don't actively enjoy like sharing parts of your life sharing inspiration sharing experiences with other people then you're gonna get not even burnt out you're just gonna lose interest because it's not instant gratification i will say like sponsorships and brand deals are a whole nother beast that are like really great to get and really fun to do but when it comes to like the negotiating and stuff like that a lot of brands will try and finagle their way into of course like they're working for the brand like the people that are reaching out to you and they're trying to do whatever they can to save money on their influencer marketing budget whatever the case may be especially as a smaller content creator make sure you're getting paid what you're worth because a lot of brands will like reach out to you and they're like oh we can do like a gifted collab and then you're like oh no like i don't do gifted collabs anymore but here are my rates for the deliverables that you are wanting me to provide for this campaign and then they're just like oh no we don't have a budget 
which is shady and then like you'll try and negotiate further and the thing is like they'll just move on to somebody who is complacent with just receiving free products and that's what makes it the hardest and i just wish every smaller content creator smaller bigger whoever you are knew their worth enough to know like some gifted collab okay especially small businesses that's great that's fine that's dandy but when it's like big brands who are paying other people like tens of thousands if not hundreds of thousands of dollars who are just trying to get a gifted collab I just want other like smaller creators to know that that is a slap in the face and I know like a lot of the time they'll be like oh your analytics don't really give us a reason to like want to pay you outside of like gifting and just like even they're reaching out to you for a reason they like your content also my biggest 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 tip and just like mindset that I want other content creators to have whether you're bigger or smaller is like you are putting time into promoting this you are putting time into you know sharing this brand with other people who are going to stumble across your video and you're taking time to shoot the content to edit and your time and your work should never be free so just keep that in mind but i will say being a youtuber it can be frustrating but because i love it so much and i genuinely enjoy it um i'm always able to kind of pick myself back up and if that means that i need to take a break and step away then so be it all right you guys i think that's a good question to end on and i am actually going to in this video here i love you guys so so much and i really hope you guys enjoy this video as i was saying i really enjoy sharing these bits and pieces of my life with you guys and my vlogs from here on out i do definitely want to make sure that my content is adding value to you guys so if you guys have anything that you want me to discuss in like future vlogs like topics or anything like that i can definitely like kind of do these like sort of sit down portions towards the end of vlogs and make that a regular thing just so it's like you guys aren't just watching me like show off products and just showing off like superficial things and you guys are actually getting like some sort of emotional value some sort of like i don't know a confidence build up some motivation it's just for you guys to get to know me a little bit better for you to even have a topic that i'm talking about for you to share your own perspective with in the comments and have conversations with other people about it but i definitely want this year to be a year of growth positivity for all of us and i think that the idea of making sure that i'm like talking about things that are you know beyond surface level of just like outfits and materialistic things would be super fun so please in the comments if you're still here let me know like any topics it does not matter like any topics that you guys would like to hear me talk more about it can be pertaining to these questions that i answered or other topics as well but i am gonna go ahead and sign off and yeah make sure to check the description box for any links to anything that i talked about in this video if it's not linked in the description box then just comment down below and i will try and give you a link if i see your comment which i probably will i'm gonna go ahead and sign off but before i go i want to remind you guys to spread kindness and always remember that the less you wander the more you wonder i love you guys so so much and i will see you in my next video bye guys